So, guys, finally I achieved what I want to actually show you guys here. Uh Hello, guys. This is your check engine guy today. Uh Hello, guys. Now we have this uh, microwave here. Uh, the transformer heats up, and I, I guess it's actually burning. So we've been trying to actually find out exactly what the problem could actually be. So today I'm going to be doing some sort of unusual kind of test which I will not recommend you to do if you don't know how to do your own thing very well. I'm going to be needing something like this and I'm going to make, make sure that it's highly insulated. Now the first phase of this test which I'm going to perform here is uh, I'm going to perform the, compre uh, the transformer test and see what happens if we plug it to light. Now in this case, we're gonna test a lot of things here. We're gonna test uh, we're gonna test uh, the magnetron. Then we're gonna come back and test the compressor. So do not touch this. And before touching this, you have to discharge it. So right now. What I want to do first is I want to test the magnetron. So let's see if the magnetron is okay. Even before this very moment here, the fuse that you can see over here has been blown and we just rewired it. Now the fuse is supposed to come from this very high, uh, high voltage output has been blown. And so before the person who was using it actually passed it. So right now, what we're trying to do here is to investigate and know the reason why this is actually heating up. And you shouldn't touch this when it's working because it's actually ethered and since it's ethered here the second power is actually going through here so it's highly dangerous to touch this transformer or this with your hands while it's working so at this very point now i'm gonna lower my camera a little bit i'm gonna lower it more so i can get you a real shot of what this looks like get my light here now uh, the first thing I want to do here is uh, I want to test this transformer and see uh, if uh, it brings power without um, I mean if it brings some sort of power without burning when we power it up then we look at some other things we need to look at here so in so doing, what I need to do here is to disconnect this power here and disconnect this other wire here. Okay, now we have the two outlets, the two wire outlet there. Okay, so the first one here, the second one here. Now, we're also going to disconnect this. right now you know the use of this very snap ring plier so the first thing we're gonna be testing here is this two one here the two of them so you want to set the multimeter to uh, alternating current then we're gonna slot it here and here then we plug it to power when we plug it to power we're gonna see how the system works and see if the transformer keeps still heating up or smoking in that condition so we're gonna use this as the realistic test method to be able to find out which of the component that's actually not working fine so let me go ahead and plug it to light and before plugging it you can see the reading on the multimeter so let me go ahead and on it now you can see the transformer is working. It's generating 377 volts. Now so let's look at it and see if it's smelling, or if it's heating up. Now, you can see the power right there. To 400, 406, 401. Now it's, that's how it's supposed to be because it's not a, it's not DC volts, so it goes up and comes down. 
Now you can see right there that the capacitor is not connected, it's disconnected. So the smoke is not coming out. So what, which component is actually causing this? So right now what I'm gonna do right now is, uh, like I said, this test is a very dangerous one, but I'm gonna do it to just prove something to you guys. So let me go ahead and uh, switch it off. It's still working very fine, all right? Now let's say we adjust the thermostat so that the power can disengage from going into the uh, uh, the transformer. Now it has disengaged because I just adjusted the thermostat. So now let's off it. So we can actually confirm and be okay to say that the transformer is working very fine. So now we're going to go ahead and test the uh, the capacitor. So I'm going to remove this. And to test for the capacitor, we're just going to shift it to this very position here where you read capacitor sign there. Then we disconnect this wire here because we're done testing the transformer. And uh, I can safely touch this right now because I'm certain that it's not actually, uh, you know, heating up any longer. So let me go ahead and discharge this. Discharge it completely before I can go ahead and Okay, now let me go ahead and touch it and hold it right there. Let's see. It's supposed to be between one microfarad. So that's one microfarad. So that says that the, the, the capacitor is good. So what next do we need to test here? We need to test the magnet magnetron. So let me shift this aside. Then I'm gonna take this to mod, uh, to the resistance. Uh, possibly take it to continuity but I don't think this continuity is actually good because if suppose this magnetron is shot inside the continuity is still gonna read so I don't think that that is the right way to test it but that has been the me the, the, the way I've been seeing a lot of people actually seen uh, to test it and uh, I think it's it's kind of generating some power right there because I'm seeing it beeping my battery right here really much so I'm gonna change it only to ohmic values and see how many ohms it's gonna read. Then I'll cross-reference that to, okay. Now you can see that. You can cross-reference it to, to the manufacturer specification. This is just 0, 0, 0 0.1 ohms. That's terrible. So that's to say that this magnetron is shorted. And uh, so, and uh, I think from now I can be able to conclude that this could be where the problem is coming from, and that's the information which I've been looking to find on the internet, which I haven't been able to see. But in order to be able to match what we just tested right now, there is no way she'll be having just almost 0 0.00 ohms. I mean, 0 0.00.1 ohms. It should be reading something better than that, but for obvious reasons. A lot of other uh, characteristics which has been attributed with a bad magnetron is that the system will not heat up. But uh, in this case, I'm having a different feeling again, which I believe right now from this reading that when the magnetron is shorted, it has a tendency of killing the transformer. Suppose I have an infrared to be able to test this right now, why it's working, why I plug it to here, that would have been very fine. But notwithstanding, I'm going to do it anyway because this transformer is halfway burnt right now so let me put this aside then I'm gonna connect this back to the capacitor that we've tested and it's okay then now what do I want to do right now at this very point uh, I'm gonna leave this power I'm gonna test the output between this uh, capacitor and the transformer and see Again, just to have a second opinion. So at this very phase right now, I'm gonna change the power to alternating current, then stop the two LEDs here while I plug it to power. It should give me a lot of volts here. Uh, is that supposed to be a DC volt or? Normally if the diode actually converts it, so which means it actually goes here as a DC volt. 
but this is very confusing right now very very confusing because uh, that's actually the job of the 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 rectifier the rectifier job here is to turn the power from from uh dc uh, ac volts to dc volts so anyway just a moment Anyway, i don't have any much time on this but uh, let me just do it and uh, see what it reads here if it's too high i quickly just uh, get it off so it doesn't damage my multimeter but first of all i think the best way i'm gonna put it here is uh i don't know the range of this very thing here the range of this uh multimeter here but i think it should be maybe it, it should have more scale so to it let me just go ahead and plug it Now put it on. Now the reading is given here is is error. So which means it is not actually coming in vote. So let me go ahead and take it to DC vote and see what happens. The same. So what is wrong? I think there's something fishy in here. This is supposed to be actually high votes that's actually supposed to be coming out of here. So what is really, really going on? Is it that the capacitor is not doing its job? Could it be the case? Because right now, we're expecting to have more power coming out of this very place that goes into the magnetron. And uh, it doesn't seem to have it. Let me switch this back to instead of going up, is actually reading backward. This is reading 1.1 volts. So what happened to that 300 volts? It's not heating up right now. It's not heating up, but you can see there is something wrong here. But I'm perceiving something smelling. Okay, here you go. You can see it is smoking. It's smoking right there. You can see it's smoking. All right? Can see it's smoking. So, guys, finally I achieved what I want to actually show you guys here. And finally, I like how this whole thing went down because uh, this is telling me something that I haven't uh, seen before. And uh, I can pretty much go on from here to say that it could actually mean that the magnetron have no problem. But the problem we're talking about here is actually sitting between the capacitor, the diode, and the transformer. But the transformer could not be the problem because the transformer was very fine. It's actually hot, so hot right now. So the problem is still somehow like a mystery. I got another capacitor yesterday, which I tested. And uh, I think it's pretty much doing the same thing. Wow, this is crazy. Anyway, uh, guys, uh, for this very moment, I think I'm going to be cutting it here. I'm going to be giving you guys update later about how I solved this. But uh, the only way to keep up and know if I later get this solved is by subscribing and keeping up with us. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.